Hey, it's me again. So, um, let me go ahead and put some disclaimers here. This is not the record of Ragnarok video you were hoping, even though I've seen the Raws. Don't worry, we'll talk about that next video. But I want to do a bit of a, um, but I want to do a Magic the Gathering discussion. It's about Ikoria being delayed. We will be, uh, whew, we're, we're gonna have a fun one with this one. A nice long run, ladies and gentlemen. I'll, I'll add context in when when we get to it. Anyway, next section. About to begin this video here. I just want to go ahead and say this real quick. This was in regards to Ikoria. Now, for context here, before we begin reading it, originally this was supposed to be posted on March. Like, spoilers were supposed to be this week. But because of the little little deal with um, Corona, I'm just going to go ahead and say how it is. YouTube doesn't monetize me anyway, so what's the point of me? You know, I'll just go ahead and say how it is. Because of the coronavirus, not COVID-19, coronavirus, they had a lot of things that had to be delayed, Ikoria including, because this was meant to be a spring set, which, you know, is a traditional, traditional time. It's usually the big set. Well, like, the winter set's usually, like, kind of, kind of there. You know, like, hey, here's this cool winter set that I think is our, no, well, not really our first winter set, but more of our true first winter set of Theros Beyond Death. And this is our first spring set in a while since uh, ooh, War of the Spark. But that was a, I, actually, I think since Dominaria. Yeah, I think since Dominaria, we've had our first ever spring set that wasn't part of an event. Though, or that wasn't part of it at all at the moment. So, yeah, this, this is some news that uh, is very, very interesting. So, originally, the release date was to be around April 24th, if I recall correctly. Or was it sooner? Uh, no, 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 yeah, I think so. pre list was meant to be April 17th, and the 24th was going to be the full day, but, um, this is what we have so far. So we're going to take a read, take a look at what they're doing now, and see what to discuss. Oh, by the way, uh, this is a shout-out to all the MTGO big video, to the people in MTGO Traders Discord. This is for them. This is this whole video is for them in particular because they asked for me to take a look into this. I'm an admin there, and if you ever want to go in there, just go to MTGO, go to MTGO Traders YouTube channel, type that in. You'll find a Discord link. There, I'll be there, probably watching over stuff, seeing what you're doing. You know, like I'm an admin there. It's cool though, but uh, yeah. This, this video is for them. Let's take a read. In a world that's anything but normal, we hope to maintain some normalcy around our games, our events, our streaming shows, and the community that is so important to so many of us right now. Not in the past you were, but never mind. During this time, we are striving to keep the players and local game stores going. <coughs> yeah, right. Keep them connected, and yes, bring some happiness. Um, mm. no, no, you haven't. Oh, I'm not sick. I'm not sick of the corona, by the way. Um, It's mostly allergies, so before anyone gets... Weird, uh, sometimes, usually pollen season is a thing in spring. Don't worry, I'll be editing off out the coughs when, um, uh, I'm not feeling like I'm breathing right, which, again, this is, like, normal to me sometimes, where I don't ha where I have a day where I don't breathe. So if I cough in this video, I'll be editing it out. Changes to the Ikoria Lair of Behemoth release schedule. So, again, reminder, uh, they were supposed to release this back in this week, so yesterday would have been the trailer... And then the 27th would have been the kind of first day of previews. And then the week after spring break, which technically this is, you would have this week and next week to be the whole se whole set. And release date would have been on the April 24th. If this schedule was going as planned, as, as we discussed earlier. So April 2nd, I Ikoria debit trailer launch, 7 a.m., Pacific Standard Time, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. UTC Time, and the start of previews. Okay, so that's uh, on a Thursday. That's probably when maybe this stuff gets sorted out, maybe? I I don't know. April 10th will be the last day of previews, which is on the which is on a Friday, which uh, means that we almost have a whole week of spoilers, which they didn't really do this back... I think they did this back when... Um, Aether Revolt was a thing, or when that set was around. I think they did this back when Aether Revolt was kind of coming out, because we were coming out of a holiday, and they decided to do a whole uh, dump back in one week, if I recall correctly. This is back when we did two sets per block. April 16th, Ikoria released on Magic the Gathering on Arena and Magic Online. Pre-release session release in Japan, Korea, China, Taiwan, and Hong Kong. Oh, that's, uh, that's not fun, but it's going to be on Friday, which is going to be on the 
supposed date. But here we get to the weird part. May 15th, not April, not April 24th, May 15th, which is like a, which is like, oh, like a month or so from the plane here. Like, uh, that's kind of, that's kind of not really working your, wait, working the way you think it does, wizards. I would have like picked April 24th, or maybe if there's still more cases on, of, you know, the whole, whole Corona deal. Okay, maybe, but like, it could have been like April 28th. Or, well, not April 28th, more like the week of May, like the first week of May, of the first Friday. That's just, that's just how I would have put it in. Not on May, a month later and like, oh, well, shit, we can't get any of these sets now until May 15th. But apparently that's when it releases. So um, here's our explanation. For this release, we will be combining our pre-release and release weekend. Stores can sell any product of those, on those dates I guess, so, and can let players play pre-release at home. Okay. So you can get a pre-release kit, play it at home, even though a pre-release is actually meant to give you the interaction, like how certain spells work. For areas outside of Asia, it is apparent that many, if, main, if not most, places will not be open for business, and our ability to ship to those locations is equally effective. Okay. Okay, I can see where they come from, but it's like, really? A month later and everyone pretty much has all the whole set? I mean, okay. We're putting the safety of everyone who works to get magic from wizards into their hands first, including distributors, rich retailers, and more. Okay, 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 I see where you're coming from, wizards, but, uh, we know you're a bunch of scumbags, come on. We, we know you're a bunch of scumbags who would screw people over as per usual, but, uh, you know, if you really did care about the players, as you proclaim to be, you would also be against any of the bullcrap that, uh, your pros would be pulling. Um, I'm just saying, but, uh, you know, my, that's my personal bias. This is about them kind of doing a wonky schedule with, uh, Ikoria. We will continue to monitor these dates and make updates as necessary. We also recognize the burden this will place on local game stores, but we do encourage players to pre-order from their local stores whenever and wherever and whenever. Ooh, I almost said whenever. We also re recognize that timing and world events may not help that log log logistically possible, so we're making a few additional moves that we hope will help. Well, the next bit is the local game store relief initiatives, which, you know, they love, they love screwing those people over. You know, that actual local business that uh, actually gives a damn. Since the onset of the pandemic, we've been exploring multiple ways to help local game stores. <coughs> yeah, you have it. You have it. We are discussing two things we hope will help. First, we have launched a reprint of Ma Mystery Boosters. That was fucking shit. And we'll be allocating those these boosters to WPN member stores at no charge. Again, we'll have more details next week. But know when you purchase one of the reprinted Mystery Boosters from your local game store later on, every single dollar you spend on it will be going straight to them. We didn't get them, or I probably haven't been my old... Well, actually, I haven't been into my LGS since January, when Theros Beyond Death was around. So my magic skills are a bit rusty, and I might have to reteach myself. Then again, I actually was thinking about doing Pioneer, but mm, it is what it is. Second, from now on, at least in, until at least June 1st, we are allowing local gamesters to take admission fees up to $10 for tournaments they run in MGG Arena. They make sure you're connected with your local game store online, and then check to see if they'll be running any digital terms during this same time. I don't have MGG Arena. I prefer paper. It's, it's, it's the way it is. And if MTG Arena fails, pa paper will still be around. That's, that's just me personally, but, you know, hey. Like, if to say, like, the end of the world happens, like, I think there's, like, a book series that's, like, The Last Kids on Earth. Like, you might need paper magic to keep you entertained. You know, hey, little ten bucks. This will be, there will be more information about how you can support your local game store next week. Please stay tuned as we share more details on these and other initiatives to come. Well, um, this is gonna be a fun one. Then we have the One Community. We will continue to share our plans with you even when we cannot share all the details. The situation continues to evolve and we appreciate you here with us. We will make through this the same way the Magic Community has tackled so many things together. In the meantime, stay safe, stay connected, and stay tuned. I want you to reread re that. The Magic Community has tackled so many things together. Yeah, okay, um... Kind of kicking out a dude that, uh, by the way, I'm not going to say his name, but the Magic community knows who he is. Even though, if you th really think about it, uh, he made that individual have a bit of clout. I can't say that word since YouTube will ban me or strike me down, even though I'm not that huge. Is this what you want? Come on, strike me down, Zeus. You don't have the ball. But still, uh, he let a certain individual, we'll say, famous, 
have a bit of clout, even though it was proven to be pointless. Because, you know, that's clout chasers in general. But you know what? You know what? I may sound a bit pissed off, but, you know, in fairness, in fairness here, this was requested by them, and I do have an opinion at, about Wizards. And look, I'm not going to be quartering. Okay, I'm not going to be him and like, I have an axe to grind against Wizards. I mean, in some degree, in some degree in fairness here with Wizards, they are kind of, like, they're getting a situation. Though it does suck that the spoilers of this point will be, like, known. And, like, we can't really get the full set. Because, again, originally we were supposed to have these released this week, the first week of previews. And then the second week, which would have been next week, would have been, like, the second half. And, like, we would have the pre-release. And then the... No, 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 wait. I think... I think I might be wrong, though. Um, I think next week would have been the pre-release... Or not pre the beginning of previews. Then next week through the 10th, or April 6th through the 10th, would have been the second week. And then the pre-pre-release, which is, you know, on a Friday, because pre-pre-release is usually a loading ready run thing. And then the 17th would have been the pre-release like normal. But it does suck that... Um, like, okay, that's fine, but I think people probably have to wait a month until May 15th, which I think it's on a Friday, I think. I'm gonna have to check later, like, as a disclaimer bit to, like, uh, corrections here. But anyway, there will be a correction, like, post editors now. You'll be getting your Rector Ragnarok video in a bit as I'm, you know, done editing this. Anyway, I hope to see you all in the Rector Ragnarok video and in the disclaimer bit. Okay, okay, so this is, um, post-edits, and, uh, I got much of a one minute, so here we go. So, uh, correction number one. May 15th is on a Friday, which we only know the next day is on the 16th, but, uh, yeah. It is on a Friday, and, uh, during the editing, I had to say, I had to edit out a certain word that YouTube does not like. For those that don't know, I happen to have it said a certain word that, um, I don't Never mind. So anyway, uh, this is the corrections video. During the editing, I had said a certain word that YouTube does not like at all. They do not like this word, so I decide but to edit that out, even though it's uh, even though it's pretty uh, pretty much straightforward, straight to the point. I upload to BitChute, you know, because that's uh, that's a bit more carefree about certain words. So I might have to uh, take the raw footage and re-edit it. For bit shoot. So, yeah, uh, not a bad video today. Uh, Wreck and Ragnarok in, ooh, about a, about a bit from now. Anyway, uh, that's all for me for today. For now, peace.